King. Just called himself one because he killed the previous king. Someone you knew. Aldis. A kind man. A trusting man. He trusted this usurper. This Rolf. No. Aldis. me and fool that I am I trusted Rolf so now you seek revenge a dangerous path you're one to talk I am an authority on the subject you would do well to listen Thanks for collecting that. Back to the crater? The realm has need of us. Say their warriors still haunt the crater. We could put them to rest. I'm with you. Oh, I'm 
Give him more of the same. We have seen this before. Revenge will not bring you peace. Is it revenge if justice is served? That is a question you must answer for yourself. Ragnarok armor's on the house. We'll call it a commemorative piece.
never worked on blades like these before. Uh, what can I do for a goblet? This here's the fun part. to ask, do you want me to stop talking about your muscles and, uh, and, and, and how you look and stuff? It seems like it's making you all wiggle, like in a bad way. It did, but no longer. Oh, okay. So I, so I should stop? Sounds like I should stop. No. Oh, all right, handsome. You beefcake? There he is, the man who tamed Garm. A thousand congratulations. Here. This one has a strong personality. Good thing I've got experience with those. Hello, Radatoska. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non-sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very roots, dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. All of the little ones are now safely settled in their new home. You have my gratitude. Might have done it sooner. You sought the dragon's offspring. Why? Ah. To alleviate my heart-rending loneliness, of course. Oh, that was awfully forthcoming of you. I normally wouldn't be so candid, but it appears that Anxious Squirrel has learned a thing or two from you about, what was it, not caring about how others perceive you? So I will permit you this one glimpse of my weakness. To require others is not a weakness. My goodness, I had not expected such emotional intelligence from one of your... girth. I do not care. Oh, well, this was a delightful conversation. <sighs> what else is there? Something I've been meaning to ask. Once you projected an emotional trait into spectral form, is it just gone from you? Suppose a friend wished to cast off his melancholy, or a predilection towards pining. I see. But I'm afraid it's not so simple. My spectral projections give me a measure of emotional breathing room, but it is only temporary. If I fail to reassimilate them, they start to fester. Fester? They are concentrated beings of emotion. And if left alone for too long, that emotion feeds on itself and becomes more and more, uh, pronounced. Which is why I must periodically reabsorb them, deal with their emotional baggage internally, and then eject them fully recharged. Huh. 
Absorbing all that emotion at once must be pretty bitter medicine to swallow. Oh, yes, it's quite unpleasant. Terrible, in fact. Do not recommend. <laughs> well, best of luck to your friend, good Master Mimir. Well, good luck out there. We don't talk. Bugger off. Oh! <laughs> 